So we're just going to wait a couple more minutes, maybe one more minute to see if anyone else joins. And while we're waiting, I just wanted to see if anyone has anything that they would like to share or discuss or ask to the group here today. Everyone's okay for now? All right, wonderful. Well, during the session or after the session, if anyone has anything they want to share or if anyone decides that they want to practice their teaching skills, feel free to say, Vanessa, I want to give it a try. And I'll be happy to give the floor to you. Until then, we're just going to relax and soothe and calm our minds and our bodies. Simply just taking nice, natural breaths. Allowing our bodies to relax and unwind and prepare ourselves for our session here today. We're just going to use this time to go inward, soothing, relaxing, taking natural breaths. Just noticing how we feel at this very moment. And we're going to wait another 30 seconds to see if anyone else joins, and then we're going to get started. Meanwhile, we're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find that seat. I am going to come into a half lotus. May you find a seat that feels good for you. As we are using this easy seat to ground and center our bodies here today. Ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and long. This gives us control of our body. We don't want to have our back sunken down. Always keeping it straight. Shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. A lot of times when we teach our clients, you'll see that they're sitting with their shoulders shrugged. So simply reminding them to relax the shoulders down helps relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. And maybe we can take a nice deep breath in. Hold the breath. Exhale. Gazing our eyes downward at the earth or closing our eyes if that feels good for us. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how that breath feels within the body. Noticing what the breath does to the body. With our palms at heart center, may we relax and go inward in silent meditation for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into our seated salute, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, allowing our shoulders to flow upwards towards our ears, filling our spinal cord, get nice and long here, interlacing our palms together, point of fingers pointing up towards the heavens, our heart chakras open, our chin is slightly up, breathe in, exhale. Allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Fill in this slight back bend here. Chin is up. Three breaths. Tummies are tight. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated salute. Palms are together. As we breathe our palms slightly apart, we're going to come into that extended mountain, seated extended mountain. Noticing how we feel as we are channeling in. We are bringing in whatever is serving and good and needed for ourselves, for our lives. We are channeling in hope, positivity, and inspiration. Welcoming in what can serve us and be beneficial. As we take a couple of natural breaths here, maybe gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes. Two more breaths. You may notice that your arms are already starting to feel a burn. 
just meaning that simply staying still can have an effect on the body. As we slightly twist our bodies towards the right, lowering our palms downward towards the earth, gazing over that right shoulder, we are in our seated twist. This seated twist relaxes and soothes our spinal cord. As we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, four breaths, Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated star. Our palms are slightly off towards the side. As we twist towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder. Spinal twist, opposite side. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that star. Palms are off towards the side as we breathe to our salute. Palms together. Breathe in. Exhale a prayer. Relax in the body. Going inward. Shoulders melt downward away from the ears. Spinal cords are nice and long. Tummies are nice and tight. We're going to hang out here. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms onto the earth, our palms are connected to our environment. We're gonna take a moment to notice and feel what is going on around us. Simply being aware, taking notice. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. May we take notice of what is going on without judgment. We're gonna hang out here connecting our palms to the earth for two more breaths. As we breathe our palms back up to our salute, chin is up. Exhaling our fingertips down to our shoulders. Spinal cord is nice and long. And we're going to do a couple of shoulder rolls towards the back. We are working on the upper parts of our bodies here. So if we ever have a client and they say that they feel tense in their shoulders, They want to relax the upper parts. This is a move that we can do for them. Three more breaths. Going as fast or as slow as we choose. Finding our pause. And we're going to rotate in the opposite direction. You may notice that we are working the muscles in the upper parts of our shoulders here. Three more breaths. As we find that pause, We're going to straighten our arms out towards the side. Our palms can be downward or they can be upward. Whatever feels best for you. And we're going to keep on working the upper parts of our bodies, rotating our shoulders towards the front. We can go nice and big or nice and small. Whatever feels best for you. Noticing that when we go smaller, how it feels in our body. And when we go bigger, where do we feel it in our body, in our arms? So if we or we have a client who are trying to tone and firm their arms, the upper parts of their bodies, the shoulder, the hands, the shoulders, and this is a great move. Three more breaths. Feeling that burn. We're going to find that pause. We're going to twist our arms opposite. We're going to rotate our arms opposite direction. Maybe going nice and small, seeing how that feels. And maybe going nice and big and seeing how that feels. We are feeling this burn. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding that pause. We're going to breathe our palms above our heads in that salute. Interlacing our fingers together. Point of finger points up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open. Chin is up. Allowing that head to relax between the shoulder blades. Arms flow slightly towards the back. We are in our slight back bend. Three breaths. This pose is also a counter stretch to what we just did. It is relaxing and soothing our arms. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, flow into that salute. Breathing our palms back down to our prayer, relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears. Tummies tight, spinal cords nice and long. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop position, tummies are nice and tight here. 
knees or hip distance apart, tummies are nice and tight, gathering our position as we drop our bellies down, coming into our cow. Chin is slightly up, head relaxes between our shoulder blades. We are in this cow pose, feeling that slight back bend here in our lumbar parts, the lower parts of our backs, two breaths. Exhale into cat, bringing that chin towards our clavicle, spinal cord goes up towards the heavens, noticing how this feels, two breaths. Flowing back to that cow. Hanging out here, two breaths. We are working the lower parts of our backs here in our cow. Chin is slightly up. Breathing to our cat, chin comes towards the clavicle. Exhaling back to our table, relaxing our bodies here. And in our table, today we are working our arms in the upper parts of our bodies. With our knees hip distance apart, we have both of our palms flat on the earth. May we shift our body slightly forward, just a little bit. We're shifting that weight forward, noticing how we can feel this in the upper parts of our body. So if we have a client and they're trying to get into a chaturanga, or even a push-up. This is a nice prep pose that we can do. Coming back to that table, dropping down to that cow, exhale into cat, flowing back to that table, and we're gonna shift our bodies forward a little bit more. Noticing how this feels, and if we choose, we can actually bring our torso closer towards the earth, kinda like we're coming down to a chaturanga, just for a second, flowing back up to that table, yes. And noticing that when we bring our torso slightly down, closer to the earth, and we push our bodies back up, we are working our bodies just like we're doing a push-up. We are building strength and we are firming and toning our arms here. We're going to hang out here in this cow for a couple more breaths. Exhale and shifting that weight forward. We're going to bring that torso downward towards the earth. Just a little. Two breaths. Exhale and pushing our bodies back up, coming back to that table. Feeling that burn here, dropping down to that cow. Exhale into cat. Low one back to table. Palms are on the earth, knees are hip distance apart. We're gonna shift that weight forward. Breathing, exhaling our torso downward, bringing that heart to the, to the earth, just a little. Working our arms, two breaths. Exhaling back up, pushing our bodies up. We are in that table. We're going to bring our buttocks to our heels. We're going to come to our child's pose, wide-legged child's pose. Relax in the body. Extending those arms in front of us. Feeling that stretch. Heart chakra comes to the earth. Third eye chakra, forehead comes to the earth. Gazing the eyes down, closing the eyes. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Allow your torso to completely melt forward into the earth. May we relax and soothe. Five breaths. If we're in our extended child's pose, maybe we can bring our palms together and flow our palms over our heads, coming into a child's pose prayer hands, if that feels good for us. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. <laughs> extending our palms back in front of us, extending our arms back in front of us, palms flat on the earth. We're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose, using our palms to push our torsos forward, feeling that spinal wave, using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. And we're gonna wave our bodies, feeling that wave, and you may feel it throughout your spinal cord here. Waving and soothing, yes. Noticing how this feels. And maybe we can add our head, our cervical spine, and to the mix, allowing our entire spine to rotate and flow. Three breaths. Going as fast or as slow as we feel. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at table, bringing our knees at hip distance apart, we are back in our table, dropping down to that cow. Hmm. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. We are in our tabletop pose. We're gonna push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet, tummies are nice and tight. 
building strength in the upper parts of our bodies here. As we pedal our feet, walking our dog left and right. We're gonna find our pause. We're gonna flow into a three-legged, right legs in the air, nice and high. Exhale that right knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. As we breathe that right foot to that right hand, runner's lunge, hanging out here in our lunge, noticing how we feel here. We're gonna straighten out that front leg, coming into a pyramid. So we went from that runner's lunge to that pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Our torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts downward towards the knee. Still in this stretch here behind your legs and your hamstrings. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Here in our pyramid, we're gonna take our right hand connected to our right foot. Just noticing how that feels. And we're gonna slightly twist our body towards the left, lifting that left arm up in the air. We are in our triangle, gazing up at our head if that feels good for us, or gazing forward. We are in that triangle form. <sighs> Feeling this body stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling that left hand downward towards our feet. Yes. Straightening our bodies. We are back in that pyramid. Gazing forward. And we're gonna now twist our bodies towards the right. Right arm goes up in the air. We are now in our revolved triangle. It's called the revolve because our bodies are twisted towards our thigh. Keeping in mind that we can always use a, use a block to, to have our arm on, our hand on. Whatever feels best for you. Two more breaths. Exhale back forward, coming back into that pyramid. That front leg is straightened. We are in that pyramid. We're gonna bend that knee. We are nailing our runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog, gazing at our feet. May we walk our dog if we choose, pedaling our legs left and right. We're gonna find our pause. Three-legged dog opposite side. We're gonna keep on flowing here. Left legs in the air, nice and high, gazing at that foot. Mm. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Feeling that tummy crunch. Back to three-legged. Left knee, left elbow. Back to three-legged. Left knee, left elbow. Feeling that stretch. Back to three-legged. Mm. As we breathe that left foot to that left hand, we are in our runner's lunge opposite side, noticing how this feels. <sighs> As we straighten that front leg coming into that pyramid, torso relaxes downward towards that thigh, head melts downward towards the knees, pyramid, full body stretch or hamstring stretch, shall I say. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we connect that left hand to that left foot or next to our foot, we can also use a yoga block. I didn't really say it last time. We can have that yoga block in front of us, either tall or sideways, whatever you choose. Or we can just bring our hand down to our ankle or lower leg. And we're gonna twist our bodies up towards the right, feeling that stretch, we are in that triangle. <sighs> Two more breaths. <sighs> As we twist our bodies forward, we are back in that pyramid, hanging out here just for a couple breaths. If all feels well, we're gonna take that right hand to that right foot, or we're gonna bring it to that yoga block. And we're gonna twist that left arm up in the air. We are in our revolved triangle. Three breaths, feeling a stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling the hands down, framing that foot. We are in that pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Breathing to our runner's lunge, we're gonna bend that front leg. We are in that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog. Tummy's tight as we walk our dog. 
Mm. Finding our pause, we're gonna walk our hands. We're gonna walk our feet towards our hands. Complete forward fold. Allowing that head to relax downward towards the earth. Now we are in a full body stretch here. As we breathe in, exhale. Allowing our body to relax. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold, chin slightly up. Breathing back, complete forward fold. Exhale to half. And if we choose, we can flow into a rag dial by hugging our elbows with our fingertips, if that feels good for you. We can also yogi walk our feet slightly apart if we need to for balance. Maybe always giving our client an option to yogi walk their feet apart in that rag dial. Sometimes people get dizzy. And if we want to sway our bodies from side to side, feel free to do so. Hmm. Noticing that when we sway, we can feel that stretch behind our legs and our hamstrings. So if we ever have a client who says they have tight hamstrings, oh, this is a nice pose that we can do. It's a soothing pose. It regulates the heartbeat and they can feel it stretching behind their legs. Three more breaths. Two breaths. We're gonna find our pause at center, coming into that half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. As we flow to our mountain pose, our tadasana, palms are at our side. Noticing how we feel, we are standing strong, standing long here. Our feet are connected to the earth. Our head, our crown chakra is connected to the universe, the heavens. We are planted, we are rooted, but we are also ascending. Maybe flow our palms above our heads, coming into an extended mountain or a standing salute. In a standing salute, our palms are together. In the extended mountain, our palms are separated. So that's the difference between the two. Whatever feels best for you, we are channeling in here. Once again, we are planted to the earth with our feet. We are rooted, we are grounded. At the same time, we are ascending, meaning we are growing, we are taking our minds and our bodies to new places. We are seeing how far we can go. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling our palms down that heart center. We are in our standing prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Tummy's nice and tight. And maybe we can pedal our feet from left to right if that feels good for us. Three breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna hang out here in our standing prayer. Taking this time to go and work and focus on self. Taking this time to notice how we feel right here, right now, at this very moment. Being aware without judgment. Thoughts and emotions may come. May we take notice of what we are feeling or it is happening within us right here, right now. Being kind and being loving to us no matter what is going on. As we hang out here in our standing prayer, maybe take this time to soothe and go inward for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Keeping our palms at heart center, maybe slightly hinge at our hips coming into that half forward fold. Palms are still at heart center. We'll feel this behind our legs and our hamstrings. Three breaths. As we slightly bend our knees, we're gonna come into that chair pose. Now we are working the lower parts of our bodies. We spent, we spent a lot of time building the strength to the upper. Now we're gonna work the lower part in our chair pose. 
So if we ever have clients and they say they, they want to build a muscle tone in their legs, this chair pose is a good pose to do. Two more breaths. Oh, and we can extend our palms in front of our, front of our bodies here. Yes, coming into that extended chair. That feels good. Three more breaths. Feeling a burn. <sighs> As we breathe our palms back in with, at our heart center. As we chair pose, twist right side. Twisting that body, gazing at our fingers. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. Chair pose, twist opposite side. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Two more breaths. Feeling a burn here. <sighs> Exhale, complete forward fold. Allowing our head to relax downward. This is a counter pose. Noticing how this relaxes and soothes the muscles we just worked. As we breathe in. Exhale. Allowing that head to relax downward. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half, forward fold. As we flow back up to our mountain pose, our tadasana, palms are at our side. And we're gonna bring our feet slightly apart here, creating that nice little stance, making our palms into a fist if we choose, and we're gonna drop down to a squat. Not a yogi squat, just a squat. We're gonna squat our bodies here. We are working our thighs, our legs. We are we are prepping our body for summer here. We are working our arms for the first part. Now we are working our lower parts of our bodies here. So in our squats, let's maybe if we choose, let's squat up and down. Noticing that when we squat, tummies are tight, we can feel that burn even more. And you'll feel it throughout your quads, your thighs, every part of your legs when you squat. We are toning and firming. Four more breaths. Feeling nice and strong here. Two more breaths. We got this. Finding our pause. Complete forward fold or half forward fold. Relax in the body. Four breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Allowing that breath regulate the heart. Two more breaths. If we're in our complete forward fold, then we come to that half forward fold. Two breaths. Flow into our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side. As we walk our feet slightly apart, we're going to flow back down to that yogi, to that squat pose. Not, not a yogi squat, just a squat. And we can stay still. We don't have to pulse it. But if we choose, we can pulse it up and down. Tummies are tight. Feeling the burn. We're going to do six breaths this time. Four breaths. Three breaths. Feeling that burn. We're going to keep on flowing. No pain, no gain. Two more breaths. Finding that pause. We're going to come on down to that half forward fold. Just relaxing the body for a second. Three breaths, two breaths. We're gonna bend those knees again. We're gonna come on down to that yogi squat, bringing our bodies downward to that yogi squat. Coming closer to the earth, just relaxing that body, coming all the way down here, yogi squat. <sighs> just feeling that burn here, palms are at heart center. <sighs> heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. And maybe we can gaze our eyes down or close our eyes if we're able. As we breathe in, exhale. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. In our yogi squat, may we take this time to self-soothe and go inward, focusing on self. Five breaths. Three breaths. Two 
two breaths. Relax in the body. As we flow onto our buttocks, coming into a staff pose, straightening out those legs, going from that yogi squat to that staff. Legs are parallel side by side. Feet, toes are pointed up towards the heavens. Noticing how this feels here. Spinal cords are nice and long. We don't have that sunken body. We have control of our torso, tummies are tight. As we breathe our palms up to our salute, feeling that stretch. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale, exhale to prayer. Relax in the palms at heart center as we slightly hinge at the hips. Just a little feeling this slight bend here. Natural breaths. And if we choose, we can allow our hands to come to our ankles or the lower parts of our feet. We can come into that full forward fold. Head relaxes downward towards the knees. Torso connects towards the thighs. Eyes are gazed down to closed. Breathe in. Exhale. This pose here is a full body stretch. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward. As we flow back to our staff pose, legs are parallel side by side, and we're gonna bring our feet together. We're gonna come into a bound position. In our bound position, our feet are together. We can flow in either a, a diamond pose, which is when our feet are further away from us, or a butterfly, which is when our feet are closer towards our torso. These are hip openers here. We ever have a client who has tight hips, we can flow them into a bound position. In our, in our butterfly, you'll feel it a little bit more deeper. So doing whatever feels best for you as we slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge our bodies at our hips, we go deeper here in our hip flexor. So taking nice subtle breaths and going nice and easy because we don't want to overstretch anything. And if we choose, we can come closer to the earth, bringing that torso closer towards your feet, allowing the head to relax down only if it feels comfortable for you. As we breathe in, Exhale, allowing the body to fall forward as much as you comfortably can. Head relaxes downward towards the feet, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half. As we flow back to our diamond or our butterfly, using our hands to bring our legs inward. We're gonna hang out here just for a second. We're gonna come onto our buttocks, bringing our knees in the air, feet is off the earth. We're gonna move our legs, our feet up and down. Tummies are nice and tight here. Our spinal cords are nice and long. We're just having some fun loosening our bodies. As we find our pose, we're gonna flow into that boat pose. Legs come further up. We can cross our feet at our ankles if that feels good, or they can be parallel side by side. Our boat pose works our abdominals and our obliques. We're gonna hang out here five breaths, building strength in our core. Still in the burn, three more breaths. Two breaths. And we're not going down yet. We're going to bring our hands and we're, we're going to pound our hands from side to side, working our obliques a little more, going as fast or as slow as you choose. Six breaths. Four breaths. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Finding that pause, bringing our hands to our feet, torso. Yes, knees come closer towards the torso. And we're gonna play with our feet. Yes, up and down, having some fun, loosening up our legs. Tummies tight, back straight, three breaths. Hmm. Finding our pause here. Yes, 
We're going to straighten out that left leg. Left leg goes out to the side. Feeling that stretch here behind our legs and our hamstring. Nice deep stretch. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. Gazing forward with our chin slightly up. Spinal cords are nice and long. Two more breaths. Exhaling that left leg back in. We're going to extend that right leg out towards the side. Feeling that stretch here. All behind our hamstrings here, behind the legs. Heart chakra is open. Chin is slightly up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling that leg back inward. Spinal cords are nice and long here. Tummy's tight as we straighten out that left leg one more time, feeling that stretch. And if we choose, we can straighten out that right leg. Now we are in our full bow pose here. We can bend our knees if that feels good for us, or we can straighten out both legs. Whatever you choose, we can come into a wide-legged V, widening those legs, or we can bring those legs in, inwards. Whatever feels best for you, five breaths. Three breaths. Bending our knees in, coming back to that balance position. Bottoms of our feet are together. We're going to flow into that diamond or that butterfly. Whatever feels good for you. Spinal cord is nice and long here. Heart chakra is open. Chin is slightly up as we allow our head to flow between our shoulder blades. We are in our seated cow. Noticing how this feels in our lumbar spine. Three more breaths. Exhale into cat, chin comes to the clavicle, spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Flowing back to our bow position, using our hands to bring our legs inward, crossing our feet at our ankles. We're gonna come back to that tabletop pose. We are, in our, we are on our hands and our knees. Tummies are nice and tight. <sighs> We're going to drop down to that cow. Exhale to cat. Lower back the table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. We're going to walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our pause, we're going to walk our feet towards our hands. Complete forward fold. Four breaths. Mm. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing that head to relax downward towards the earth. Two more breaths. Breathing to half forward fold. As we flow to our mountain pose, our Tadasana, the palms are at our side. We're gonna yogi walk our feet slightly apart. Let's, let's bring our feet wide apart. We're gonna come into that wide legged Tadasana. The legs are wide apart here. Yes, we're gonna bend our knees. We're gonna come into that goddess stance. We're not done working the lower parts of our bodies. We gotta build a little bit more strength to tone and firm our legs. So now we're in this goddess stance here. And we can have our cactus hands, we can come to prayer hands, or we can breathe our palms above our heads and our salute. Whatever goddess feels good for you, four breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths, filling a burn. Exhale, flow into our standing star, straightening those legs, palms go out to the side. We are in our standing star here. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale, hanging out in star. Feeling like a star because we are a star. Four breaths. Feeling that heartbeat. Pounding. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling back down to that goddess, bending those knees, 
building strength here. And this time in our goddess, we're going to pass it up and down if we choose. Noticing how we are working, toning, firming every part of the lower parts of our bodies, including our buttocks, our gluteus maximus. We're going to hang out here in goddess pulses or stay still in goddess. Your choice, six breaths. <sighs> Four breaths. <sighs> Two breaths. Feeling a burn. <sighs> Finding that pause. We're going to come to that star position. Standing star. Legs are straight. Palms are out to the side. Heart chakra is open. Chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. We're going to hang out here in our star. Feeling like a star, feeling nice and strong and powerful because that's what we are. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale down to goddess. We are back in that goddess stance. And this time we're gonna rock our body from left to right. Noticing how we are working another part of our muscles here. Yes, we are toning and firming here. We are getting our summer body ready today in this session. Six breaths, goddess rocks. Mm -hmm. Four breaths. We can find our pulse whenever we choose, if we choose, or we can pulse up and down if that feels good, whatever you choose, three more breaths. <sighs> Two breaths. Finding our pause. We're going to be in that goddess pause here. Three breaths. Fill in the bone. Fill in the burn. Bone is here. Two breaths. Exhale. Complete forward fold. Straightening out those legs. We're in a wide-legged complete forward fold. Connecting our hands to our ankles. Heads relaxes between our thighs. Breathe in. Exhale. Feel in the body, relax here. This is a counter pose. Five breaths. <sighs> Allowing the body to soothe and relax. Three more breaths. <sighs> Two breaths. We're going to flow to that half forward, half wide legged forward. Slightly gazing up as we take this left hand connected to our right foot. We're working on our hand to toe stretch here. Yes. So left hand to right ankle, right foot. As we wrap this right arm around our backs and we're going to gaze over that right shoulder. We are in our extended hand to toe stretch here. Noticing how this feels. Eyes are gazed down. Natural breaths. Allowing the body to soothe as we are strengthening and lengthening our spines here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, come into that half forward fold. Tummies are tight here, two breaths. As we breathe this right hand to that left foot or ankle, we're gonna wrap this left arm around our backs as we gaze over our left shoulder. Feeling this spinal twist, this is also a stretch, relaxing and soothing here. Four breaths. We are lengthening our spinal cord. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body to center. We're going to come into that full forward fold. Nice and wide legged here. Going nice and wide. As wide as we can. Head melts downward towards the earth. Hmm. 
feeling that stretch here. We are stretching and soothing. This is a full body stretch. We are working on our posture. We are working on lengthening our spine. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half. As we walk our feet together, hands come forward. We are in that down dog here. Tummies are nice and tight. <sighs> Hanging out here for two more breaths. Shifting our weight forward, coming into that high plank. Tummies are tight. We can flow down to a low plank if that feels good for us or come down to our knees in our high plank, whatever we choose. Three breaths. As we flow on down to a low plank or a chaturanga, bringing our torso closer towards the earth, hovering our torso over the earth. Two breaths. Exhale on our tummies, coming into a Spanx pose. We are on our tummies, we are on our forearms. We are in our Spanx pose. This is a relaxing and soothing pose here. Relaxing on the tummies, forearms are on the earth. Shoulders are melted away from the ears. A lot of times in our Sphinx, we'll notice that the clients come with their shoulders shrugged. Relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. This is a slight back bend. As we breathe in, exhale. You may notice that this Sphinx pose is a soothing pose. It is relaxing and regulating the heartbeat. As we gaze our eyes down, we'll close our eyes. Four breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Mm. Relaxing our bodies. We're gonna bring our hands towards our torso and we're gonna come up to a baby cobra. A baby cobra, our palms are flat on the earth and we're pushing our torso slightly away from the earth. Shoulders relaxed, this is a baby cobra. This is a slight back bend as well. Two breaths. As we straighten our arms, coming into that cobra, now our torsos are further away from the earth. This is a deeper back bend. Chin is slightly up. Head relaxes between the shoulder blades. Three breaths. Two more breaths. We're going to hang out here and we're going to flow to an up dog. Taking our thighs off the earth, torso comes further away. Now we are in our up dog. Maybe we can take a moment to notice how these poses flow together and look very similar. We are now in our up dog. Our thighs are off the earth. Two breaths. Exhale, relaxing our thighs onto the earth. Now we are in our cobra. Noticing the difference between that up dog and that cobra. Now we're gonna bend our elbows slightly. Now we are in our baby cobra. <sighs> Now we're going to come onto our tummies and onto our Sphinx pose, onto our forearms. Now we are in our Sphinx pose, shoulders relaxed away from the ears. As we take this time to gaze our eyes down and close our eyes and notice how the poses that we just did all look very similar, yet have different names and work slightly different parts of the body. Two more breaths. <sighs> As we come back up to that baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torso, pushing our torso away from the earth, flow into that cobra, exhale into that up dog, breathing to our down dog, gazing at the feet, pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch, walking our dog, pedal on our feet left and right. <sighs> As we come on to our forearms, coming into a dolphin, walking our feet closer towards our torso as we are gazing back at our feet, 
We are in our dolphin pose. Allowing that head to relax between your arms, gazing back at the feet. Allowing the neck to completely relax. Buttocks is high in the air. This pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we drop to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, whatever feels best for you. In our child's pose, our legs, in our wide-legged child's, child's pose, our legs are apart, torso relaxes between the thighs. We are in our child's pose. In our puppy pose, our thighs are closer together, buttocks is high in the air, torso comes down towards the earth, puppy pose. Noticing how the child's pose and the puppy pose looks very similar. May we choose whatever pose feels best for us with our heart chakra melted into the earth, with our third eye chakra, our forehead connected to the earth. May we close our eyes or gaze our eyes downward as we are connecting, going inward, focusing on self. Seven natural breaths. Five more breaths. Two more breaths. As we extend our palms in front of us, if they were not already, we are in that extended child's pose, puppy pose now. With our palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this position. Feeling this spinal wave through our spinal cords. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we find our pose at center, we're gonna flow into a table Dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to that table, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming onto our buttocks as we flow onto our backs. We're gonna breathe our knees into our chest. Recline position, knees to chest, hugging them in. As our torso melts back into the earth, as we are hugging our knees into our chest, this is a nice pose to help regulate and soothe the heart. So if we ever have clients and they are high in anxiety, this is a nice pose to put them in. As we breathe in, exhale. Allow your back, your spinal cord to, me to melt backwards into the earth. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we allow our knees to flow towards the left, recline spinal twist. Feeling that body twisting back here. Feeling that spinal cord relax and smooth here. As we bring our right arm out to the side like a T. And maybe we're gaze up at the heavens or maybe we're gaze over that right arm. Whatever feels best for you. We can also straighten out that top leg here in our recline twist. Going deeper into that stretch. Four, let's make it five breaths. Three more breaths.
two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing the knees to fall towards the right. Recline spinal twist, opposite side. Left arm goes out to the side like a T. As we gaze over that left shoulder or gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels best for you. Shoulder blades melts back into the earth. As we go inward, soothing our minds and our bodies here for five breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As we allow our feet to fall to the earth, knees are in the air. So our feet are flat on the earth, our knees are in the air, and we're going to use our feet and our palms to push our buttocks off the earth. We're just going to work on rounding our gluteus back this year. So we are doing a bridge pose here. And we can walk our shoulder blades closer towards our spinal cord by bringing our hands underneath our buttocks. And walking our shoulder blades in. Now we are now we are deeper in that bridge as we pulse our hips, our pelvic bone up in the air. We are doing bridge pulses here. In this bridge pulse, we are strengthening and tightening and lifting our gluteus maximus. And we're going to go up nice and deep and feel that burn. We're going to relax it down and go up nice and deep and feel that burn. And we're going to hold it. And we're going to pulse it up as we're holding it. Going nice and deep into this burn. Seven breaths. Five breaths. Still in that burn. Three breaths. Find the neck pulse and lift the neck gluteus maximus up nice and tight. Still in that burn. Holding it up. Three breaths, two breaths, exhale down, relaxing the torso, relaxing the buttocks, towards the earth, knees, the chest, hugging them in. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall, reaching our hands down to the backs of our legs, and we're going to bring our legs towards our torso, full body stretch, buttocks come slightly off the earth, three breaths. Exhaling legs back up to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. Straightening our legs out side by side. We are in our Shavasana. Legs are parallel. The sides of our feet are connecting. Our shoulder blades are melted into the earth. As we allow our feet to fall towards the side. Completely relaxing our thighs, our legs here. Eyes are closed, your gaze down. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully, hanging out here, allowing the body to completely soothe. We are relaxed. We are going inward. Six breaths of silence. As we feel our bodies relax and soothe and connect. Two more breaths. Exhale. 
as we roll on to our side, coming into a fetal pose, keeping our eyes gazed down and closed, if that feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we use this top hand to push our torsos up away from the earth, we can find our bodies in a seated pose. I'm gonna come into a cow face. May you find any seat that feels good for you as we are relaxing and soothing here. With our buttocks connected to the earth, tummies are tight, spinal cords nice and long, shoulders melted downward away from our ears here. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe in, exhale. Finding our palms at heart center, if that feels good, coming into a seated prayer. As we are using this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today for in a busy busy world it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self and when we find time to practice our teacher training skills i am thankful and grateful that you allowed me to practice here with you today for it truly truly is a blessing the light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you are. Namaste.